Hello everyone, Chairman Scene here, and today I'm showing you how to install Smoke Ping on a Debian server. This tutorial will also work on Ubuntu. Smoke Ping is a application that's uh, that's kind of like Cacti. Uh, it monitors traffic, uh, sorry, it monitors latency and uh, stuff like that on um, uh, towards obviously on the network. It doesn't rely on SNMP like uh, Cacti does, so you don't have that option to monitor things like interface statistics and stuff like that. But it does graph latency, uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> I also saw a comment on one of my videos on uh, one of my subscribers wanting to know how to install this, so I thought I'd make it. So this is a brand new install of Debian. Okay, so the very first thing I always do is after installing, because it's brand new, um, I go over to uh, etc slash apt and then your nano sources dot list and then just comment this out. The reason why I comment that out, um, the CD-ROM, is that when you do update your packages, it will try to find updates from the CD-ROM, which I don't want. Okay, I'm logged in as root right now because it's a brand new install. Uh, so obviously after you're done installing and your smoke ping is working, then I would recommend uh, using your best practices. Uh, you can find best practices on, on my other videos. Okay, so the install is pretty simple. So just do app-get install smoke ping. Okay, and say yes. Okay, so this is real time install here. So now the smoke ping has been installed. <clears throat> now to access smoke ping, you'll use your web browser and surf to the page. Uh, so you surf to the IP. So now I gotta actually, this is not, you won't have to do this. This is something I just made a mistake on. Uh, instead of, because of my virtual box, uh, I natted the IP rather than bridge the adapter. So I just got to do a quick reboot. Again, you can ignore this. You won't have to do this in your um, in your configuration unless you're in VirtualBox and did what I just did. Then, <laughs> then yeah, you will have to. <coughs> okay, so just waiting for this to reboot here. Okay. Then we'll see the IP that I got. Okay, so my IP is 192.168.1.149. Okay, so I already have the I already have it set up here 192.168.1.149. Okay, so hit enter. Actually, sorry, what you'll be doing is the actual URL to begin with would be 192.168.1.49 slash CGI dash bin slash smoke ping dot CGI. Okay. And then just hit enter. And then this is the basic install of it. So right now it just monitors the local machine. Okay. So what we want to do is modify certain files in here to modify for instance maintained by you can change this and then add and then we're going to add some uh pieces to this okay so all the configurations for smoke ping are located in slash etc slash smoke ping and in smoke ping there's a another folder called config.d so you'll go in there 
So there's the following uh, files that you normally will uh, modify. The first one's general, so nano general, and then this is where that con that contact info, like I said, was before. So um, you can change the name. So like awesome admin, and then you can put in the contact email address. So awesome at admin dot com then uh, there's some other basic uh, configs here which you can choose to edit so hit ok uh, control O to uh, write these changes control X to leave okay then we'll want to, to edit the targets folder so there's a folder here called targets so nano targets now targets is where um, the config is to monitor a specific site. So for instance, we're going to add, let's say, local router. Okay. So you'll just follow the syntax that's up here. So menu, say router, title, equals router host and then host you'll follow by the IP address that you want to monitor or the domain name okay and then it works also like I'll show you here by domain name so we can go Google menu equals Google title equals Google Host equals google.ca. Okay. Then control O, control X to save if you're using nano. Okay. There's another file that uh, you will edit after um, that you can edit depending on what you're doing to set, like what you're doing with this. So by default, like I said, the only probes available here are um uh, our f ping for instance right now so things like you can edit uh you can add tcp ping to ping a specific port or um, you can add other tools that that can be available on the smoke ping site i'll include the url in the description below so that you can browse and uh, they're pretty clear on how to set them up it's pretty simple so the probes you'll not only you install the application, um, but you have to add it here, the binary. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and uh, made a configuration change, we'll have to restart the daemon. So you can do service, smoke ping, restart. Okay, so after you've uh, restarted the daemon, you can just go back, refresh the page, Okay, first thing we want to we want to do is let's go back to the main screen that you can see we've added um, we've added some some pages here. Okay, so if you click on the local charts, you'll see now we have this host, router, and Google. Okay, obviously right now we're not going to see anything because uh, there's not enough data okay but for the local like this host it's slightly it's slightly populating right now and then you can see right now maintained by awesome admin um, and uh, so we've set up pretty much 90% of the config for just monitoring latency and stuff like that now to sum this all up, smoke ping is pretty good for what you want if you're just looking to see an up down situation, uh, monitor, stuff like that. However, with its lack of SNMP polling and stuff like that out of the box, I still recommend cacti. But some people still prefer a smoke ping. One thing, if you notice right out of the box, uh, the default install, there's no authentication. So you'll want smoke ping to be internal only to your servers. 
sorry to your network uh, the server only let's say reachable on a management IP or something like that um, or you can code your own authentication methods or uh, read in to how to uh, have an authentication page um, with cacti as you know or if you've seen some of my previous videos uh, cacti requires right out of the box that there's a username and password and then there's certain rights you can assign to it but they're both unique in their own way so I hope this video was uh, informative and helped you out if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and uh, you can also also visit my website www.chamancini.com thanks for watching